undirected team, we got to talk about this. Kyrie Irving has officially requested a trade from the Brooklyn Nets as of February 3rd, 2023. This is confirmed. TMZ, CBS Sports, Bleacher Report, ESPN, and New York Times all confirm this. It's official. The Brooklyn Nets have less than six days to figure out where they're going to send Kyrie Irving. If they don't trade him, he's going to leave in free agency and they're going to receive nothing. So they're going to trade Kyrie Irving. That's already solidified. Let's talk about a few other things, though. Kyrie Irving's been with the Brooklyn Nets since 2019. There's been plenty of issues that's happened with Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets. Actually, the whole organization as a whole. Kevin Durant actually requested a trade from the team earlier this summer, but after a stalemate, decided to stay. Remember, they had a big three with James Harden, Kyrie Irving, and Kevin Durant. James Harden skedaddled out of there and went to the 76ers, where it seems like he's possibly more happy there. It's hard to tell. I just want to talk about the most recent issues with Kyrie and the Brooklyn Nets. And that's with the whole thing that happened on Twitter that ultimately got him dropped by Nike. And it was a whole thing where the Brooklyn Nets suspended him, held him hostage until he made an apology about the statements that he made. And from Kyrie Irving's standpoint, I know he feels like the Brooklyn Nets did not have his back through all of that. Just looking through his lens, I understand it. For sure. And that has to be really frustrating for Kyrie. And Kyrie is a guy that when he makes his mind up, you're probably not going to change it. So the Brooklyn Nets are scrambling right now. The phones in the Brooklyn Nets front office are not on the hook right now. They're making calls. They're receiving calls. And there's a lot going on. Kyrie Irving and the Brooklyn Nets have been playing really good basketball over the last couple of months. Kevin Durant's injury stifled that a bit, and they haven't been winning games, but Kyrie Irving's still been playing extremely well. So right now, his value is extremely high. So a lot of teams, especially ones that have a chance to make a run at a championship with a piece like Kyrie, their mouths are drooling right now because the Brooklyn Nets don't have as much leverage because of the short time frame and because they know they'll get nothing so they're not going to get the best in return for this teams will just wait it out especially a team that knows that he'll sign with them in the summer regardless anyways i wonder how kevin durant's feeling about all this did Kyrie talk to kevin before he made this trade request because as far as i can tell they've been playing really good together and besides their defense being lackluster they have one of the most potent offenses in the NBA, and they could definitely make a run. So we'll see. But let's just talk about the current all-star starter, Kyrie Irving, and where he possibly might go. The Lakers, Russell Westbrook, and a whole bunch of draft picks that the Lakers have, and possibly throwing like maybe an Austin Reeves, Pat Bev, something like that. That's a possibility. The Heat, they could give up Kyle Lowry. The Brooklyn Nets are going to need a point guard, but they're going to need some defense too. So I don't know what defenders the Heat have that really could help out. They're not going to get a bam out of bio or anything like that. I doubt the Heat will give that player up. The Mavericks, I mean, they're not even known for defense. I don't even know if there's a trade that can be done with the Mavericks. The Timberwolves might have some. But the thing is, is like Kevin Durant wants to win now. So the Brooklyn Nets need to get somebody that can keep them in championship contention so i'm really feeling like it's gonna be tough for the brooklyn nets and i know kevin durant is extremely upset about all this the one team i will say that i could see a deal happening i scanned the internet real quick i didn't see anybody talking about this the toronto raptors if you can get a fred van fleet and they got og ananobi they got scotty barnes i mean that's a lot but if they could get those three players and Kyrie Irving says that he'll re-sign with the Toronto Raptors, I could see them making that deal. So I really want to know what you guys think about all this. Where do you think Kyrie is going to end up going? The trade is in him and it's going to happen. But what do you think is going to be the package? Put your trade scenarios in the comments. I will respond to them. I'm definitely interested in this whole situation. It's breaking news. Want to get this video out ASAP. I appreciate y'all undirected team. In undirected fashion, I'm just throwing this out. All I know is that it's confirmed. I don't know anything else about it, but that's where we're at. So I'm going to leave it at that. Dot sell out.